What's up YouTube? Two Guns Tony here. I'm gonna try another install video on this channel. Let's hope I don't mess it up. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Bam! Right here, I got new grips for the Harley Davidson Lowrider S. Actually, these grips will fit all uh, throttle by wire Harley Davidsons. Uh, these are from OD or ODI out of their V Twin Connect uh, collection with uh, the Kevin Hart Heart Luck branding on it. So we're going to check them out, take a look at them. And then I think I got enough light in here for you guys. But we're going to replace these Biltwell Alumicore grips right here. We're going to replace those. All right. Let's take a closer look and see why we're going to replace those. Okay. Here we are. So one thing I didn't like about these grips that I found out after I installed them on my stock bars and then I had them installed on my uh, Lucky Dave's bars was this little gap right here. Not a big fan. And when we uninstall it, I'll be able to show you why I have a gap here and why I can't do anything about that gap. Hopefully I don't get that on these new ones. If I do, I will be upset. But it won't be a complete waste because I like the way these grips look. All right. The other thing that I noticed on these grips, these built well, is a little bit, okay, there's kind of a lot of slack in my throttle cable right here. So uh, I'm looking to, to get rid of the slack in my throttle cable right there. My throttle cable. I don't have any throttle cables. And my throttle tube right there. All right. Again, I hope this fixes it. But I'm not sure that it will. Let's see. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button on this video if you think I need a toolbox. Because I'm going to look through this big mess of tools, this unorganized cluster here, and find the Allen keys that I need to take apart these grips. Hit that thumbs up button. Thanks. All right. So. What are the tools we're gonna use? I have my little uh, screwdriver, adjustable tip up there. And on there I have a T25 Torx bit. T25 is for your clamshells right there. And on the bottom, I already kind of started that one out because it's stripped. Uh, but right there, T25. And the other one under here is T25. All right, I got a T27 bit because on the stock uh, part of the clamshell right there, uh, it uses a T27, but I have a ram mount over here on the left side, so I'm going to use this four millimeter to pull those bolts out. And just in case if you've watched this channel, you know I have the... Uh, uh, unique ability of being able to strip out any screw, so I've got some spares here to replace uh, anything I mess up, but let's hope we don't mess up. All right, let's get started. One thing is I turn these sideways. I turn them down and sideways, that way I have enough room to get my screwdriver in there. I'm going to time lapse most of this, but hopefully you guys don't hear the music out there. Get a little strikey poo from the old YouTubes. Apparently there's this thing going around out there where people are like manually striking channels that they don't like. Don't do that to me, please. If you don't like me, I don't, I don't know, man. Just tell somebody about it other than YouTube. Get some help. See what we got here. That's a no. Nope. 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 Oh. 
This one's got scuff marks on it. And it's the one. Okay, so one thing I like to do, and I learned this from the last time I put these bars on, I put grips on these bars, was they just like to be, the, the metal here is a, like brushed, it's not very smooth, and I felt that in the grips, and maybe that was the grip, but I saw a lot of people uh, complaining about it on various Facebook groups that I'm in and places that I read online with people that have tried the Alumacore grips from Biltwell. And all the videos that I watched, they just throw them on there, except for the one on Biltwell's website. They actually tell you to put a dab of anti-seize on it. Now that I know anti-seize is like, I guess kind of controversial, some people say don't use any, some people say use a little, some people say gob it on there. I'm a, I'm a use a little bit guy. So I actually only have a little bit. I just have this little packet from I think like AutoZone or something. And I just kind of get this. Because you don't need a lot just to fill in those, um, that brushed sort of steel right there. I use it on that. Kind of. Cleans it all up, makes the makes the throttle feel really smooth uh, all the way through the the turn, the turn of the wrist. So I, I actually really cannot say. So let's bust these things open and let's see what we got in here. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, oh my, some Allen screws in there. That makes me a little nervous. Let me go get you a closer look. So there they are. There's the inside. Nice little design on the back. I don't know, the bronze is not a good fit, not a perfect fit. Got like 50 shades of bronze on this bike. Maybe that's the name of my bike now, it's 50 shades of bronze. All right, so now I gotta figure out which goes where. For that I'll be referring to the instruction manual. Ooh, they got pictures. I love when they put pictures. All right. Excellent. It says I need a T15. Uh, T15, a T25, and a T27. So I have the T27, and I have the uh, T27, T25. I need to find a T15 up here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. T15? T15. Who says I'm not organized, huh? Huh? I don't need no stinking toolbox. All right. I can't tell immediately which side is which. All right, there's the knurling right there. I can see it. So this one, I was right. I was right. This is the throttle side. Let's get this on here. Okay, I'm already kind of feeling it. It's a little bit less twitch in it. I'll bring you over here, give you guys the sound test, and you guys will be the judge. on my clamshell there. Not the first time though. 
to get this clamshell. Throttle side's always the easiest. I don't know, for me it is. Just stick that guy in there. And you're good. So let's put these back together. And uh, I'll go through the adjustments later. All right, let's do this side now. So for this side, I'm not even sure. Uh-oh. I think this is where the other X bit comes in. Let's find out. Let's refer to the instructions. to loosen up this clamp right here. Alrighty. I'm gonna slip this guy right on there. Hey, it closes up the gap. I can already tell. All right, let's set this right. Does that look like a D? Let's check the other side. Take the angle on it. I like it. Okay. So I got the OD grips installed and uh, it did take away the gap over here. I do have a little bit of play over here. Um, I think I can fix that though. Tightening up some of, some of this. So still a little play still in the grip. So not a big fan of that, but that's okay. We got that taken care of. That's the major one though. I'm glad that's all fixed and taken care of. So, uh, now that they're on there and they look set, I need to make sure that they are. So I'm gonna pick the bike up. I'll put my hands on them. And make sure everything is kind of right where I like it as far as the grips are. So I do kind of like um, I don't like to reach down and over. I like my, I like almost like a parallel grip setup. So when I put my hands on, I can almost rest my fingers on top of, straight and on top of my levers. So these are kind of sagging down. So I'm going to pick these up. Let's see, what do I got in here? This side. Pick these up. I know pretty much exactly where I like them. So I'm just going to put them in there. I was just more telling you guys how I go about setting up my levers. All right. Goody, goody. Goody, goody. Let's put the screwdriver down and see. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, throttle's nice and pushes. All right, still a little play in it left to right, so I'm gonna have to tighten that down, figure out, troubleshoot that. Still a little bit of play in there. A lot less play though than I had over there. I don't really know the proper way to fix that. I just kind of go back through and retighten everything down. I think there just is some play in the Harley Davidson throttle by wire system. If you, you know more than I do about this, comment down below and tell me that I'm not losing my mind, that this is just normal, or tell me that I completely screwed this up uh, and I should never ever attempt an install video ever again, at least and post it on the internet for people to laugh at. Okay, let's cut it there.
All right, well that's it. I'm just about done. As you can see, I fixed the, the gap here. All right, over here, I got a little bit of a gap right there. So I'm gonna take a look at what that's all about. I'm gonna probably have to readjust this too because there's still some play in here. So a lot less though than that. So we're all set. So a lot of you might ask yourselves like, why did I switch so soon from the belt wells? It's not like they were broke or anything was really wrong. Yeah, honestly, it was just aesthetics. I didn't like the look and feel of them after I did my Lucky Dave's bars. I was kind of looking for something else, but I wanted something that was a whole system. I just didn't want to buy another tube and throw some bands on there like a lot of people do. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it just wasn't what I was trying to do. I like this whole body uh, setup. So uh, yeah. So next question you might ask yourself is, well, what are you going to do with those uh, grips that you barely used? Or I should say used for such a short time because I definitely put a lot of miles on them. Uh, I'm actually going to give them away. Uh, no contest, uh, no drawing, nothing like that. Uh, all I want you to do is if you're a subscriber, reach out to me on Instagram. The first subscriber to reach out to me on Instagram, DM me at Two Guns Tony, and I'm just going to send them out to you if you want them. All right, uh, they're just going to take up space in my already cluttered garage. So. I'm gonna do myself and my wife a favor by getting rid of these. They're yours, free of cost, I'll pay the shipping. Contact me on Insta, DM me, first, first subscriber, and uh, they're yours, all right? So there you go. Yes. All right, that's all I got. This is Two Guns Tony. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.